Hi everyone, Jorgelina here. Thank you so much for being here. Whether this is your first time, your second time, or you watched all of my videos, I am so excited that you have decided to click on this one. On this channel, what I do is handbag videos. And today that is exactly what you get. I am also a very super passionate teacher. I teach math in a virtual setting and I love going live and sharing tips and tricks for teachers uh, for their classrooms. So if you're on that side of YouTube, I would also appreciate it if you watched those videos. Maybe you're both like me, a teacher and a handbag lover. But if you're here for the handbag content or the teacher content, it would mean the world to me if you hit that subscribe button and follow me along on this journey. Thank you so much again for being here. But let's get on to what today's video is. This is a tag video, my one bag tag. I was tagged by Lori from Smiling Cats Couture, and I know that this was started by Melissa from Melissa Adams Wade. Uh, so thanks so much for starting the tag. I know that it's an old tag, but it just made its way to me. I'm going to have a little bit of a hard time tagging others because I feel like everyone's done it or has been tagged by someone someone else. Um, so I will tag my usuals, um, but if you've already been tagged or if you've already done it, I'm so sorry. I've seen so many of these that it's kind of hard uh, to remember whose I've watched. Uh, but I do watch everyone's videos all the time. I leave comments. So if I've watched yours, I did pay attention. But again, this is a really old tag, like a couple years old, I think. Um, but what is this tag? So the one bag tag. And again, I was tagged by Lori from um, Smiling Cats Couture. So when you're done with this video, I would love it if you go and watch hers if you haven't yet. And if you're here from Lori's channel, thank you so much. So that one bag tag is one bag that you would keep if you had to get rid of your whole collection. And there's no cheating. I actually didn't cheat. I did just pick one bag but maybe I did cheat, but I do have some explanations and I do have a close second. So I know that when Lori did hers, she picked her one bag and then there's some compliments in there. I don't have any compliments. So I have the one bag that I would keep and some reasoning behind it. And then I have the one close contender. Uh, so if I could keep two, I would keep those two, but I am very emotionally attached to my bags. If you watched my videos, you've seen that. But that doesn't mean that I would have a terrible time letting go of them. My emotional attachment to the bags are because they've either been gifted or I bought them thinking about something, they remind me of someone, and they do bring me joy. That's why I like collecting them. Um, I like saying that I have had issues and troubles with self-esteem, with weight, uh, with the way that I see myself. Um, so all those issues are just kind of play around in my head, but handbags always fit. So handbags bring a smile to my face. I can be looking like a bum, not feeling myself, and throw on my favorite handbag and feel like a million bucks. So that's the value that I put on my handbags. But if worse came to if worse came to worse and I had to let them go, I would be okay. Uh, so which one would be the bag that I keep? Because I do fully believe that a handbag is a necessity. I carry a handbag with me every single day with all my junk. Uh, do I need a luxury one? No. But if I had to get rid of them, I would absolutely keep at least one, right? So I wouldn't get rid of my whole collection under any circumstance. I would keep one. And this is the one that I would. Okay, here we go. Is my new Neverfull in the size MM, the new inside out, upside down Neverfull. So you might be saying, or you might be thinking like, okay, girl, you just got that bag. How are you going to pick it above all your other ones? You don't know enough about it. But if you know me, you know that this is actually my fifth Neverfull. So I have a lot of them. If I didn't have this one in my collection, if it had not been in my collection yet, this would be the one that I would keep. So again, I'm not cheating because I do pick, pick this one, but I do want to say that that is because I have so much experience with this one. This has been my daily workhorse. I use it so much. I love, absolutely love this bag, but 
I am liking this one better. <laughs> so this is my new one. I do love, um, I like monogram over the Damiera Bean print. And the reason why I didn't have a monogram never full is because of the Vachetta. I was always so afraid of it. So I ended up going with the Damiera Bean because of that treated leather that the beans come with. But when they came out with this one, I knew that this would be a perfect bag for me. And it is, and I love it. It's the same size, it fits everything I need, and it is a hundred times more comfortable than the Damier Abin one, which I already love and I find comfortable, but this one just gives it that little oomph, that little extra, uh, so I would 100% keep this one. This one, the other one does too, the other Neverfold does too, but they come with a pouch, so I, they came together so i'm counting it together so when you have a never full and you kept the pouch bonus you have a second bag right for date night or for uh quick errands right you get a tiny little clutch that you can bring with you you have a catch-all so kind of all in one uh which is why i would keep this one i am a, a fan of big bags i use them as my everyday bags this is not a travel bag for me even though i can also use it as such so that's really my driving force into why I would pick this. Not only are they my all-time favorite bag, I love carrying them. I feel like a million bucks when I have one on my shoulder. It's comfortable. It fits absolutely everything that I need. I can use it for travel. So really, this is the only bag that I would need, and I would be okay with it. So that's my pick. I'm not gonna go too much more into it because we all know what a Neverfull is like and I am going to keep this video short so I can tag someone else, but I do wanna talk about my close contender and I had a hard time picking between the two. That second bag or that bag that was very close is my fun bag. <laughs> so notice the trend, monogram and black. Absolutely love it. If there would have been a monogram and black never full that wasn't the one with all the stickers, I would have had it a million years ago. I would have had it when I got, I would have picked that above the Damiara bean anyway. So this one was a close contender. The reason why this is not the winner is because the never full, I love the style and I can also use it for travel. So bonus, I would also have a travel bag. Uh, this one, I use it when I travel but it goes inside my Neverfull after. So this isn't, I need the Neverfull for all my other junk, but I do like carrying this. So this has been used in theme parks and I usually wear it on the front. Again, I'm sure you can see it. That doesn't even help. Why, why did I even do that? <laughs> anyway, but I do carry it this way. It's one of my all time favorites. Definitely second favorite in my collection. Um, so it, it was a close contender. But I'm not cheating because I'm not saying I want to keep both. I'm just trying to walk through the process. Never full wins, close contender second. If I could keep both, I would. And I mean, I can keep both. I have both. And I'm keeping them both. And I'm not getting rid of them. <laughs> but um, this would be second to last to go if I had to get rid of all my bags. <laughs> anyway. I hope that you found this video entertaining. Uh, my tags, let's see. I am tagging Kim from La Vida with Kim. I always tag her, I love her. I'm sure she has one. Uh, if you wanna use your lounge fly or anything like that, I am really interested to see which bag you would keep. I would love to know. Uh, MJ the Gray, um, because I love her. Um, I also like watching everything she does. Uh, she's been a little absent lately, but she just, she has a new video that she posted not too long ago. Um, and then I'm going to tag um, all my usuals. Uh, so Cami from Cami's Closet, Dawn from Dawn Loves Couture, Missy from Missy's Beauty and Lux, and uh, Candy from Candy Sweet Love for LV. I know that she's very busy, but, um, Yota from Yota Styles if she wants to. I'm sure they've been tagged a million times. And if I didn't tag you and you have a YouTube channel and I don't follow you, let me know in the comments because I love supporting everybody on this side and I really do watch all the videos. So let me know, uh, uh, tag me or comment on this video. I will follow you and you are officially tagged if you want to do this. Make sure that you give Melissa her credit. She started this tag and it's been super fun. Until the next one, 
Don't forget to hit that subscribe button, the like button, and leave me a comment below, and I will see you on the next one.